Hey, what's up guys? It's Robert with Aquatic Life, and what I've got is the Neptune System Apex Controller, and we're gonna be hooking that up to our basic Halo light fixture. In order to hook up your basic model Halo to your Apex Controller, you need to purchase the cable, which will include an instruction manual. The first thing you'll wanna do is hook up this end of your cable to either the V1, V2, or V3, V4 port. Your basic Halo comes with two ports. You have an output and an input port, so you'll remove the plug from the input port and take your cable and insert it there. One of the great things about the Halo light fixture is that it uses a 0 to 10 volt input and it'll also turn all the way down to 0% meaning you don't have to use this energy bar 8. Now that we've connected our Halo to our Apex controller we'll go to apexfusion.com you'll click on get control you'll go ahead and enter your login information and then press sign in once you've done that you should get a screen similar to this go ahead and choose Apex controller and this will take you to the dashboard. If you're using the V1, V2 port, VAR speed 1 and VAR speed 2 will control the white and blue channel respectively. If you're using the V3, V4 port, then VAR speed 3 and VAR speed 4 will control the white and blue channel respectively as well. So in our case, we're using V1, V2. So let's test our connection and move the fixture to the on position, VAR speed 1 and VAR speed 2. You should see the fixture on. Move it over to the off position and the fixture should be off. So for the time being, we'll go ahead and put this back in the auto position. Since VAR speed 1 and VAR speed 2 control the white and blue channels, we're going to go ahead and rename that. So to do that, we're going to press this gear button. VAR speed 1 controls the white, so we'll delete that and we'll enter white channel. Now it's important that you send everything to the cloud. So press this button here and you'll see that it says update apex wait for that information to send and we'll press OK. Let's go back to the dashboard. Bar speed 2 is the blue channel so press the gear button, delete this, enter blue channel and now we'll send that to the cloud. Press OK. We'll go back to the dashboard. This is the dashboard button here. And now if we look at our dashboard we'll see that it says white channel and blue channel. Let's go ahead and create a graph for our white channel. We'll click on the gear button. You'll click on this wizard tool. If this is the first time you're setting up the white channel, you'll get a message like this. Just press OK. You have the ability to enter each point manually, or you can drag and drop each one. Personally, I think it's a little easier if you just enter them manually. So you press this gear button, go to adjust point, and then just enter whatever time you want it to start. So I'm going to enter 6. And let's have it start at 0%. Actually, let's do 7. Do power 0%. Press OK. Now let's adjust this second point. Press adjust point. Let's start at 7. Actually, let's do 9. And let's make this go to 65%. Okay. So the next point we'll do is 1130. We'll make that 100, which is perfect. The next point we'll do 330. Adjust point. 1530. And let's bring this down to 65%. Okay. Adjust point. We'll make that 430. And let's bring that down to 1%. This last point, we'll have that go to 11. Oops. 23. Forget we're in military time. And this should be somewhat of a moonlight kind of thing here. So here's what your graph should look like, or what it will look like. Now let's go ahead and send this to the cloud. Okay, go back to our dashboard, and let's create one for the blue channel. Click on the wizard tool. Again, we'll get the same screen just because it's the first time that we're setting it up, so we'll press OK. Click on this button here. Adjust point, let's say 6 in the morning, we'll start that at 0, okay, 
The next one will go to seven in the morning. Seven, zero, and let's say that's gonna be 45%. The next point will be 1030, tab 30, 100% works okay. Let's do this 330, so 1530, and let's change this to 45%. Okay, the next point we'll do is gonna be five o'clock, so 17, so zero. Bring this down to 5%. This point will be 11. Oops. Did the same thing. 23, 0, 0. And again, this will also go down to 5. So now that we've created our blue graph, we can compare the two. So if you click on this button here, click on white channel. So this orange line represents your blue channel. This blue line will represent the white channel. And you also have the ability to demo that. So let's get out of that. We'll send it to the cloud first. Okay. And now if you press this button here, you'll see it says preview. So it'll show you what that'll look like over the tank. So if you look at your fixture, you should see it start to gradually ramp up and then you should see it start to ramp down. And then here's when the moonlight will kick in. The Halo Neptune cable is available from authorized Aquatic Life dealers. For more information about the Halo, visit us on the web at aquaticlife.com. And for more information about the Neptune Apex controller, visit Neptune's website.